Hi everyone, I am Devi Salakshi from CAC Department, Rohini College of Engineering and Technology, CS3452, Theory of Computation, Unit 1, Automata and Regular Expression. Topic, Non-Deterministic Finite Automata. Objectives, to understand the concept of NFA, to analyze the problems of NFA. Non-Deterministic Finite Automata. Non-Deterministic Finite Automata defined as NFA also. It is easy to construct an NFA than DFA for a given regular language. Every NFA is not DFA, but each NFA can be translated into DFA. NFA is defined in the same way as DFA, but with the following two exceptions, it contains multiple next states and contains epsilon transition. The concept of non-deterministic finite automata is exactly reverse of deterministic finite automata. The finite automata is called NFA when there exist many paths for a specific input from current state to next state. Note that NFA shows in the figure. Shows from Q0 for input A, there are two next states Q1 and Q2. Similarly, from Q0 for input B, the next state are Q0 and Q1. Thus, it is not fixed and determined that with the particular input where to go next. Hence, this FA is called non-deterministic finite automata. Formal definition of NFA. NFA has also five states same as DFA but with different transition function as shown follows. Q is a finite set of states. Sigma is a finite set of inputs. Do is called next state or transition function. Q0 is initial state. F is a final state where you have subset of Q. Example. Q is equal to Q0, Q1, Q2. Sigma is equal to 0, 1. Q0 equal to Q0. F is equal to Q2. So, using these information, we have to draw the transition diagram as well as transition table. So, first we are going to see that transition diagram. So, here how many states are they are having? Only Q0, Q1, Q2. Three states are there. So, likewise we have to draw Q0, Q1, Q2 within the circle symbol. And next we have to see what are the inputs we have to give 0 as well as 1. So, the likewise we have to give the input for everything. So, first we are giving Q0 as input. If we are giving the input for Q0, 0 means it will move on to the Q0 only. And then if we are giving 0 and then 1 means it will move on to the Q1. The same way if we are giving the input to Q1 means it will move on to the Q2 and then 0 means it will move on to the Q2 and 1 means it will move on to the Q0. The final state will be the Q2. Using this transition diagram, we have to draw the transition table. So, here the transition table consists of three columns. First one is the present state, next state for input 0, next state for input 1. So, in the present state, we have to declare how many input uh, states are there. So, first one is the Q0, Q1, Q2. This one we have to define first. And next one is the next state for input 0. So, if you are giving input to 0 for each and every state from where it will be moving. So, just we have to see. So, if you are giving input 0 to the Q0 means it move to the Q0 as well as Q1 also it is moving. And then if you are giving 0 to the input Q1 means it will move on to the Q2. If you are giving input as 0 to the Q2 means it will move on to the Q2. The same way if you are giving input 1 to the Q0 means move on to the Q1 and then 1 means it'll, Q1 is move on to the Q0. If you are giving 1 input to the Q2 means it will move on to the Q1 as well as Q2. Thank you.